my colleague uh, Shri Santosh Gangwar, Dr. Adia, Mr. Rajiv Shah, Ms. Ananya Ray, both former and uh, serving officers and probationers of the Custom and Central Excise Services who are present on this uh, occasion of the International Customs Day. Well, today is being uh, celebrated in India one day after the global celebrations, obviously because of the Republic Day. And it uh, marks an important event in the life of your service. The role of the service itself uh, has evolved and changed. From a one-time regime where uh, high tariffs were considered uh, to be virtuous because of protectionism and also because of a revenue-raising exercise, Broadly, the global thinking has undergone a change. And in order to support and facilitate trade, which is considered to be an important uh, benchmark for economic activity and economic expansion, tariffs in India also have uh, rationalized uh, over the last few decades. And because of a large uh, global connectivity, and integration of our domestic economy with what happens in the world. And the rationalization has taken place. Uh, the nature of your expertise and your duties has also undergone a change. And because of this very important change, uh, the avenues of violation and non-compliance that a set of violators or uh, offenders would now invent has its own element of ingenuity. And therefore, your own skills uh, require to be sharpened. Your ability to move one step ahead of those who want to, be, want to bypass the law will also have to be at the very high level of professional competence itself. Besides the economic factors which have uh, enabled this change, the second important change in almost every area of revenue which is taking place now is uh, the advent of technology the interaction between the assessee and the assessor needs to be minimized. Discretions need to be minimized, uh, if not altogether eliminated. And the use of technology in uh, having uh, uh, uniform standards and a larger amount of objectivity also will have a very important and powerful role to play. Additionally, uh, the kind of data mining that you require, which is an initiative, I'm told, that the World Customs Organizations have undertaken. And the analysis of that data itself will also reveal to you the mindset and the techniques and the backgrounds of those on whom a special vigil has to be kept and special efforts taken in order to make sure that the offender doesn't uh, proceed ahead of the law. Now, this is a change. Uh, which is taking place almost in uh, every area of society. I missed uh, going to Davos this year because of domestic reasons. But uh, last year and this year, the whole emphasis there had been on the fourth global industrial uh, revolution and the impact that automation is going to have uh, uh, on the nature of uh, economic activity and the jobs. This, in fact, globally today has become one of the biggest challenges, though experience has really shown that when it results in a reduction of work in one area, it creates corresponding job opportunities in other areas. Because economic activity, like nature, will abhor any form of vacuum. And therefore, it is bound to find more ingenious areas where uh, 
works are created and the nature of that work itself uh, would alter. When IT came into India, we had the same debate world over. When machinery in the Industrial Revolution came, we had the same debate over as to what happens to the human capital, particularly in countries which have a large population. And we found that those newer areas itself created larger job opportunities itself. I must, in this context also, uh, 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 just comment on what uh, the chairman of the CVEC said about the disquiet in the service. I see no reason uh, 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 really for a kind of a disquiet for the simple reason that opportunities which are available to people in service as a matter of policy, as a matter of constitutional guarantee are all protected, except that the nature of activity itself will have to change. Important. Uh, changes and evolutions which take place are never put on the back burner for the reason that the responsibility of those who conduct that uh, activity itself will now be in an altered form in an altered environment itself. The, the number of uh, people required, the kind of opportunities for them required will remain unchanged, except that the nature of activity itself changes. Now for the last uh, uh, several uh, years, uh, 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 the GST has been considered as a larger part of policy consensus in India as an important taxation reform where uh, the economic integration of the country itself takes place. Once it takes place, you obviously have uh, a situation where you have uh, taxes levied by the states, taxes levied by the center, all being integrated into one and therefore resulting in uh, one assessment order where you would have multiple assessing authorities itself. That was the old system, that's the present system which is prevailing, which evolves into a newer kind of such system. But let it be counterbalanced with the fact that uh, the extent of revenue to be collected itself is going to expand, the extent of economic activity itself is going to expand, and therefore, even though you have two parallel machineries which would now be converging into a similar kind of an activity and a shared responsibility, I think uh, 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 the future will stand a witness to the fact that there would be adequate amount of opportunities to be created and therefore the kind of disquiet in the service and the kind of personal pressure I see on you uh, uh, should itself reduce because there is no real occasion for any fear of this kind or a sense of insecurity for anyone in the service for this kind to take place. Change and evolution are an integral part of any economic order. Changes and that evolutions are never held back uh, because the nature of my responsibility is going to change. This is an ongoing process, it will continue and we'll all have to adjust ourselves with this particular change. And I can only assure you that uh, there is no reason for this quiet. You should go and have um, uh, a comfortable sleep tonight uh, uh, on this great occasion of the International Customs Day. And I would wish uh, all your officers who are being honored today all the very best for the excellence in standards that they have performed. Thank you.